Right, so here's my scene. We have a game node, and then underneath it we have a sprite node. And if we go into the game script, all it does is take the space key. And what we want the space key to do is we want to change the sprites modulate to make it appear more red. We want to do that smoothly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and click on the sprite, and we're going to add a tween node as its child. Right, so we'll need to go back into the script to change this pass line to a line that will access the sprite tween and then call its function interpolate property. What this will do is it'll take a node's one of a node's value and over a period of time as designated in one of its arguments, it'll change it into a different value. So for the first argument, we'll give it the sprite. This is the node that has the value you want to interpolate. And then we'll need to give the value itself, which is a node pass, so we can just type in modulate in quotation marks here. And we'll need an initial value, which will just be the sprites modulate. And then we'll need a final value, which will be a color variable. So if we put in R, G, B, and then alpha, we can close that off. And now we'll need the period of time that the uh, tween will run for. So for this, I'll just give it one. Then we'll need the tween's transition type. So for this, I'll just give it translinear. This is just the most absolute, most basic. So it will just do the exact same amount of changing the value uh, for the entire time that it runs for. And then at the end of it, it will be exactly on the value. And then we'll also need an easing um, argument. But for this, it doesn't actually matter. So I'll just put an ease out. And if you want to know about the different types of transitions for a tween, I'd highly recommend checking out the website easings.net. They have a bunch of really well-made graphs which can show you about all the different types of transitions. Now, if we were to run the game, we'd see our sprite, and as soon as we press the space key, it will transition nicely into its different modulate. Cool. However, what if we didn't want to change the entirety of the sprite's modulate? Maybe we just wanted to change its alpha. Well, on standard GD script to access the sprite's alpha, we just call the sprite and then say dot modulate dot a. But because this is a tween, it uses a node path to get the value. So we'll need to change the node path to modulate colon a because that's what you do in a node path. You use a colon instead of a dot. In order to just demonstrate the different types of transitions, I'll just go and change this to trans bounce, but I'll keep the ease out for now. And what this will do is we'll make a sort of shaky uh, transition. So here we go, it fades and flashes in and out. But if we changed it to out before, it uh, did it on the end, it would start flickering at the end. But now it flickers at the start and then goes straight. However, Tween's not just limited to only interpolating one value. Instead, you can call it as many times as you want by just calling the interpolate property function before you call the start function. And for this, I'm just going to uh, change the sprite's global position and it will, act it will play at the exact same time as it's uh, changing its alpha. Now, if I were to start the game and press space, the sprite would both move to the top left-hand corner and change its alpha. Cool.